good morning, everybody. So I didn't even dry my hair this morning because my husband told me that he was able to walk straight into our voting center and vote. So I am here with my license ready to go and I am ready to vote. I'm hoping that it's just going to be an in and out. Here we go. Hopefully that will save me so much time because I intended for today to be a day of waiting in line for hours and hours. So let's see. I'm about to go exercise my right to vote. I was able to thankfully just walk straight in and vote, which was awesome. And I'm guessing a lot of people early voted and then they have a lot more places open today on actual voting day. So it was exciting to just walk in because I had thought I was going to spend some time over there. Plus, I got a delivery while I was gone. I ended up going by Starbucks and getting my most recent favorite drink, which is the salted caramel cream cold brew that I love. And while I was gone, FedEx delivered my new laptop, which was a gift to myself for 10 years of self-publishing, 10 years since my very first novel came out. And it got here very quickly. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm so excited about this laptop. So I also got this Kio, Razer Kio, which is something I wanted, which is supposed to be one of the better webcams on the market. And it has uh, like a selfie ring on it. So this is going to go up in my gaming space. It comes with a nice little vellum note here. Razer always boxes their things so nicely. And here is the actual webcam itself. So we'll give that a try later and it just kind of sits on top of your monitor. So I don't have a webcam currently on my gaming computer. So I'm going to be adding that in. It was sold out for so long during the pandemic stuff because I think everybody was trying to get their hands on webcams if they didn't have one. But this is the real star of the show. So I've already kind of popped open the box here. I have to say, this is probably the single sturdiest like packing material I've ever seen in my life. Okay, here we go. So it has this really cool snake on it. This is the Razor Blade Stealth 15. Oh my gosh, look at this laptop. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Obviously, I have chosen to go with the pink quartz edition. Most of my gaming stuff upstairs is Razor Quartz Pink. Wow. It's even more beautiful in person than I anticipated. Oh my goodness. I love it.
guys. So I did not get a chance to update the vlog last night, like to end the vlog, because my husband and I stayed up way too late after 1 a.m. trying to wait for election results, which obviously did not come in. So while we were waiting for those results, I finished setting up my planner. So I'm going to show you that real quick. I also did take sprints, breaks, and got some word count in. So I made sure to write my numbers down. So I ended up doing four sprints for the witch's key or the witch's door and got 2,346 words. So my total so far for Nana is 5,683. And sadly, I did not turn on record and get a ton of footage of that. So not as much actual writing footage, but the writing did happen. So I am actually kind of back on track for 50K, but not necessarily for 60. But I do know that my rough draft words are going to suffer a little bit because I'm also editing a book and I got a little over 3,000 words yesterday edited. So my editing total is 63.75. So pretty good. I also just wanted to mention since I'm sitting here in the kitchen living room area that we do have this kind of partition here where uh, we're keeping kind of Evie enclosed sometimes when we need to make sure she's not going up the stairs. So my house is just not going to be perfectly clean this month and that's just going to be the way it is. <laughs> Um, so hopefully you can understand that. But I'm doing great with the word count so far. I am not super happy with the words as they came out yesterday, but they were words, so I'm counting them. But I need to start really focusing in on edits because I'm down to less than a week before this really needs to get done, and I've got a lot of work to do on edits. So probably for the next week, you guys are going to see big, big editing numbers as I go through my final draft or fifth draft of this book and smaller uh, witch's door numbers for the rough draft. So what that might end up looking like is instead of like 1,600 or 2,000 words a day, it might be like 500 words a day and then more like 3,000 words a day once this other book is turned in. So it's going to be a balancing act, but that's okay. How is your word in, work in progress going? Let me know in the comments. Let me show you real quick my planner setup and then we will end the vlog uh, because I'm recording a new one today for day four. Okay, so here it is. I did get my A5 binder set up. This is a Kiki K one from a long time ago. I'm actually going to be getting a new planner coming up. The um, Planner Press, she has these gorgeous new legacy planners coming out. And this one that she has here in this um, digital dashboard is a uh, is the one that I'm getting. So it's like a black quilted one. It's going to have black matte, black matte rings. And I can't wait for that to come in. And I'm hoping it will actually come in this month, which is why I set up in a black planner. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to switch it out because when it does come in, I'm going to be switching those for sure. Um, so this is the overview of what my planner looks like for the month. All the fall vibes. I have this from Pumpkin Paper Co., and pretty much everything else is from Planner Press, but this is from last year's digital dash box. A lot of these little die cuts and the little coffee girl and stuff like that. I got this bow from Scheduled Planners, and then all of these dashboards I print out, and they're part of the digital dash box, which is just a monthly subscription. So photos, some other little dashboards that I bought from Planner Press that were not printable ones. Look how cute with the leaves, and sometimes I've covered over them. Um, also, you guys saw me, oh, here we've got our Disney countdown, 26 days to go as of today. Um, this is my new like postcard with my brand new cover for Vengeful Darkness, which is the 11th book in my series. And then I love this one. Like I said, this is the planner that I'm going to be getting that black quilted and I cannot wait for it. Then I've got this, um, this is from last year's digital dash box too, which is kind of the advantage of being subscribed to it for more than a year as you can go back. And since they're printable, you can print them as many times as you want. So this is the folder where I keep a bunch of my stickers and just more of those cool things, side tabs. And then you guys saw me printing out the November monthly. This is from my HB90 planner that I sell on Etsy for writers. And I got about this far in my actual planning for the week. So as you can see, the writing and edits and everything is taking precedence. So we're already on Wednesday. And this is pretty rare for me to actually not have <laughs> a week completely filled out. But I think this week, I'm just gonna have to let it go while other things kind of take priority for me. I've got my little Disney um, countdown going. So 
we're getting ready for that and basically I just have the month of November set up in here and then I have more just kind of family photos my social media planner and look at how cute the boots and stuff and that is basically my planner setup for the month and I love it so much and it just feels so good to finally have it set up and done but that's it for the day three vlog. I am actually going to stop this, start working on uh, my writing for the day, and I'm going to start recording my day four vlog because we are moving right along. Time does not stand still, even for elections and other distractions during the month of November. So let's get writing. How is your writing going so far? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>